Hello everyone and welcome back to SEO Wana YouTube channel part 4 video. This is the fourth video in series and today we are going to discuss question number 15. Let's move. Question number 15 is you have an Azure virtual machine that has a single data disk. This is the one thing. We have one single data disk in it. You have been tasked with attaching this disk to another Azure VM. So we need to detach it from there and attach it to another VM. You need to make sure that your strategy allows for the virtual machine to be offline for least amount of time possible. So if we have to take the, uh, the virtual machines offline, it should be the least possible amount of time. Let's see uh, the solutions are given and the question is which of the following is, is the action you should take first. So what is the first action we are going to take? Stop the virtual machine that include the data disk. Stop the virtual machine. The data disk must be attached to detach the data disk or delete the virtual machine that includes the data disk so i think everyone is aware that this is unnecessary we don't have to delete any virtual machine for that and secondly uh, we don't need to even stop it but we'll prove it by the example so uh, no virtual machine need to be stopped so it looks like the option c is the correct one but uh, detaching the data disk would be the first action because uh, first we detach and then only we are going to attach with another virtual machine so uh, we will prove in uh, azure portal itself let's see so uh, i will quickly go to uh, my uh, azure portal here and i'll go to virtual machines we do have two virtual machines in rg2 or resource group second so virtual machine 4 is available and for uh, virtual machine 4 if we go to uh, disks we may see that this is uh, os disk and uh, we do not have any data disk in place so we'll create uh, data disk for this let's see uh, data disk name will provide data disk 1 for example and we we'll choose standard std with the 32 okay ios 500 32 gb and that's it and we hit save here it's creating a disk in virtual machine disk is successfully created refresh this one yes so we have data disk one created in vm4 so we quickly go to uh, the virtual machine uh, itself by rdp and see into it so let's go to overview we'll take the public ip from here go to remote desktop connection Quickly login into it. So we logged in to our VM4 and we have opened disk management in VM4 and it, we need to initialize the disk too and we click OK. So here we can see our disk 2 little bit down and after initialization we can see in our You see 
so as you can see uh, our disk is not visible right now in the system so we will uh, comment go here create simple volume next 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 format after formatting we can see our new volume is available the disk is available here we can open it and we can maybe you know create a file into it testing So, our disk is initialized, disk is created, and disk is visible in VM4. Uh, now, what we will do is we will detach this disk from VM4. Let's see, we will go to disk management again. So, in the disk management, we will go to F drive and take it offline. So by taking offline uh, we'll stop if anything uh, read write action is going on on the disk and we'll go to virtual machine uh, in disks and and we'll go to data disk in data disk we can detach our disk from here so our disk is detached from vm4 and now we'll prove it by adding to another virtual machine so we have vm5 in place and if you have noticed it it's it detached without even shutting down uh, the virtual machine so we'll attach existing disk here and disk name so now we are uh, vm5 uh, and in virtual machine 5 we are in data disk 1 ok now we can attach this save this so our data disk is attached to vm5 let's go to vm5 overview get the ip and connect so we we'll connect give our username okay so remotely we are accessing this we will go to disk management so we are in disk management you can see our disk is visible here now we'll open Windows Explorer and check in our PC if the volume is available. So our volume is attached and available. We open the volume and now we can see the text file which we created in last virtual machine. This proves that we don't have to stop any virtual machine. We didn't need to you know uh, stop any of the machine uh, no need to delete any virtual machine we simply uh, detach the data disk and attach the data disk so uh, that's it for this video if you have liked the uh, you know video uh, yeah, please um, do like comment and subscribe and share this video and press the bell icon for future notification see you in next video thank you